Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all really well. I don't want to start this video on a negative note, but I'm going to. I am very annoyed. I've just filmed this whole video and it's nowhere to be seen on my on my iPhone. I literally just filmed the whole thing and it's nowhere. And it could be because I ran out of storage. And if that's the case, then it may appear, but it's not appeared yet. And it's been a good few minutes. So I'm gonna have to refilm it, which is so annoying because I hate repeating myself. I hate, I just hate refilming videos. It's so annoying. However, in the first video, my mum managed to make all the lights in the house go out. She tripped a few. So then I was sat here in darkness and she was just loitering around my bedroom when I was trying to talk about her Christmas present, so maybe it's for the best that I have to refilm. <sighs> I just wish I didn't have to. But anyway, hello. I am back with my annual What I Bought My Family For Christmas video. I don't know how many years I've been doing this now. I want to say about four, but I've not checked. Um, but yeah. It's not going to take as long, it only took me 15 minutes to film this the last time because I have not bought as many presents as usual for the obvious fact of that I don't have a job therefore money is tight. I have actually spent on the f four people, so I'm showing you what I bought, my mum, my dad, my sister and my sister's boyfriend. I have spent on all four of those people the same amount that I would spend on just my sister. So we had to get a little bit thrifty this year. My sister's boyfriend I'm going to start with. I originally just bought him two chocolate bars from Tony's Chocolate Lonely. However, I then felt a bit tight and I felt bad. So as he has a January birthday, I'm gonna halve these. So I'm gonna give one for Christmas, one for birthday. And I've also bought him a jigsaw puzzle. It hasn't arrived yet, but I didn't wanna wait for it to arrive to film this video because it's not gonna be here for a few days and I wanted to get this video filmed. But I bought him a Marvel jigsaw puzzle. Um, a thousand pieces is apparently an impossible puzzle. So we shall see if that is the case. For the first time ever, I got my sister and her boyfriend a joint gift and I got them this frame thingy. Um, the frame was from Poundland, so I paid a pound for it, and it's just got some twine and some pegs on it, and then I got some photos of them printed. And all in all, this gift cost me pound fifty. <laughs> so I'm pretty pleased with that. I think it's pretty cute. My sister, I bought her a book. I bought her Panic. I watched the Amazon Prime series of this and really really enjoyed it and I thought she would probably like the book so I bought her the book. I actually got three books for £5 at the works and I've held two back for her birthday because that's in January and then one's for Christmas. Yeah my sister is turning 30 in a couple of weeks after Christmas so I wanted to definitely try and make sure I had more money to spend on her birthday than Christmas because I think her 30th is more important than Christmas this year, but yeah. Um, for 3 49 in Aldi, I got my sister this Move Free Selection bo Box, which is dairy free, gluten free and vegan. She has a dairy, wheat, gluten intolerance, all that jazz, so I got her that. In Poundland, I got my sister this Wax Melt Burner, though I want to say this was actually £1.50 even though it's from Poundland. And then I also bought this Glade candle, which was like one pound something. And I took all I took all of the wax out of the candle, melted it down, and poured it into some Christmas molds that I had to make these Christmas wax melts, which I have put in this Christmassy jar. The jar I got in a charity shop for one forty nine, I believe. Um, I can't show them to you now because they're sealed up in the jar, but yeah, so these all go together. Wax melts in here, little oil burner. Cute. In a charity shop for 2 99 I got my sister this Mary Poppins snow globe. She likes a snow globe. A part of me did think, you know, she's nearly 30. Is she too old for a Mary Poppins snow globe? And then I thought, no, <laughs> she's not. Um, so hopefully she'll find a place for that because I think it's really cute and three quid for a Disney like merchandise snow globe. I thought that was really good. 
And then the last thing I got my sister was this dress. This was three quid in a charity shop. And it's just a dog tooth pinafore dress, originally from Primark. So that's that. For my mum, my mum has kind of boring gifts. She's genuinely the sort of person that would honestly say, don't get me anything, and she would mean it, but I still wanted to get her a few things, obviously. I got her some oven gloves, because she needed some. Practical gifts always work for your parents, I feel like. She... I also got her this acrylic paint set, 24 colours, this was like four quid, really good price. I know she'll get use out of them. I also got her this teeny little water bottle, I got this in TK Maxx. Um, you can put cold drinks and hot drinks in it, and the reason I just got a small one was because she doesn't really like water, but she likes to have it with her if she's out like shopping or whatever, in case she gets a little tickle in her throat or something. So I thought this one was perfect size for your handbag. And then, oh my god, I've rushed this so quick, this video is gonna be even shorter than the original version. And then, so the last thing I got my mum for 2.75 in a charity shop were some gray lounge trousers with pockets, just cause I knew she wanted something like that. So that's what I got. For my dad, I got him some Ritter Sport Gin Chocolates. These are from Poundland, but they were actually two pounds. I also got him in a charity shop for five pound fifty, this mustard Ben Sherman polo. He loves a polo shirt, he loves Ben Sherman, and I know that he doesn't have a mustard one, so I know he will like this. I think he's got a mustard scarf too, so it'll go nicely with that. Or did he leave that scarf on a train? He leaves a lot of things on the train, so that mustard scarf might actually be long gone on the train. I can't remember. I also got my dad some fluffy socks. Whenever I wear fluffy socks, my dad always comments on how much he'd love a pair of fluffy socks. And they're not actually that easy to come by for men, but I saw these on the Jules website on Black Friday. I paid about six pounds something for them. And they're just green with, they've actually got dogs on, but you can't really see. And then a bit of yellow on fluffy socks. And then the last thing I got my dad was a Christmas jumper. This was five pound 50 in Cancer Research. I wouldn't ordinarily buy my dad a Christmas jumper because I wouldn't think he'd actually wear it that often, but I could not resist this one because it relates to like a in-family joke that we have. <clears throat> So for some reason, whenever my dad sees the building, the gherkin, on TV, or even if we're out, he always makes a comment. He always says, I fucking love the gherkin. Now, this is just grown legs in our house, and it's just something we say now whenever we see the gherkin. Go, fucking love the gherkin. Um, so when I saw this Christmas jumper, which has a skyline of London on it, including the gherkin, I just thought... I have to get that, I really do. And it's a lovely M&S jumper, really nice quality. It might be a smidge too big for him, I'm not gonna lie. But it's just a bit of fun, and I'll wear it if he doesn't, because I think it's lovely. And that is literally everything I've bought my family for Christmas this year. Look how quickly I did that. I reckon my other videos are probably like 20 minutes long for no reason. That's how quickly we need to do it from now on, I think. I am a bit disappointed though that I've not been able to buy much just because I love wrapping presents. I think wrapping presents is just the most fun part. But um, yeah, that's everything I bought. I would really love it if you guys could leave me a comment down there telling me the gift that you are most excited to give this year. I would love to hear that. And that is everything from me. I do hope you have a lovely Christmas and can make the most of the time that you have with your loved ones. I hope that the C, the big C, the old COVID doesn't ruin your Christmas because that would suck and I would feel very sad for you. So just try and have a lovely time, take care of yourselves, take care of others, give a stranger a smile in the street. <laughs> Have a lovely Christmas. I will speak to you very soon.